Today we're taking a look at the Unreal Engine free marketplace contents for February and more. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the brand new free marketplace content that is available for the month of February. So we already know that Epic Games, they do have this particular thing of being in partnership with their Unreal Engine marketplace creators and getting free stuff available for artists. And February is actually not left out as we have five free stuff that will be available for the month of February. And we also have one brand new permanently free marketplace content that you can use any time of the year and we're going to go through all of these things so that you guys can be in the knowing and at the end of the video i'm also going to share a couple of free stuff that you can get and just in case you want to see that just stick around so we're going to start off with the very first one which is known as the amplify lot pack now the amplify lot pack is made available by amplify creations and this has to do with a whole lot of lookup tables that you can add to your scene and the lookup tables that are available here are way over 200 high quality lookup tables and you can use this to change the style the look and the feeling of your game your cinematic presentation and so on and directly inside the package if you go ahead to download it you'll be able to find certain things that includes the base adjustment the color blindness simulation film color film mono popular looks and so on and so forth and so in case you want to get this link is going to be in the description where you can find that and at the same time is also worth mentioning that they do have an instruction when you download these on how you can go through with the installation and you can also see that once you hit the download button directly here and if you want to check out these things of course if you want to see how you can work with lookup tables there's a whole lot of things online that can get you up to speed with that and with that said let's move on to the second one now the second one has to do with auto settings that you can work with now the auto settings is actually something really really cool that can help you configure your in-game settings and buttons inputs for easy use like right now if you want to create things like your menu you want to create some very quick setting panels you may not be able to have all of the technical know-how on how to do this and this is where this tool actually comes in play it is designed to be very fast simple and very easy for you to use and you can simply use this to create very impressive menus from load save input bindings and so on and so forth there's a whole lot of things you need to find out within the technical details and i will really suggest that you go through and check these things out right now the number of blueprints you get to find inside is about 17 and the number of c classes you get to also find directly here is about 35. the platform that is supported right now is windows and i guess subsequent platforms will come in later in the future this brings me to something else since we've talked about menus i think it's worth it to talk about the very third one which has to do with the combat system the combat system is more of a design oriented tool which you can use to construct both you know combat units at the same time you can piece two or multiple military vehicles together and it gets to work in a very interesting form and they do have over 200 variants which can actually help create that feeling of uniqueness in case you want to create a game like that and there are also blueprint scripts that can help generate very well you know ready to use combat units that you can also work with it does have a couple of main parts which you can find if you go through the settings within the technical details you also be able to find out that they are all rigged animated and the unique number of vehicles that you can find here is 14 although there is a variation between all of these things just to give some sort of uniqueness to each and every one of them that is being generated they do have strong support for almost all of the platforms that exist so in case you want to create some you know mobile game or in case you want to create a pc game i guess this asset is best for you and right now i think it's like the best time for you to go ahead and get it and since we're talking about all of these things that you can put together it's very interesting to know that we also have a first person puzzle template that is also available so in case you want to challenge your players with easy to implement puzzle mechanics and you know you want to create something that is very very dynamic at the same time it's worth knowing that this blueprint based game is actually targeted towards creating logics and puzzles and you know interesting effects that you can implement in your game so in case you want to create a game and you want to work with blueprints all through i think this tool is one of the cool tools that you can use since it's a template and it works best with puzzles and first person stuff 
I think you can also use this to create something quite interesting. And it does have a couple of features which you can also see directly from here. And I'm going to put links to all of these things in the description so you can see them and you can get the best out of them and play with them. And the cool thing about this is they do have, you know, videos that can showcase a couple of stuff. And there's a full documentation on how you can work with this tool just in case you want to get your hands on it. And this brings me to the last free content, which is going to be available for the month of February. And it has to do with the open world AI spawn system. The open world AI system is very interesting as it is because you can simply create, you know, your enemy characters to spawn in different places. And despite that, you can also spawn friendly characters, cause them to despawn, respawn and do so many things. So just in case you want to create either a first person or a third person kind of game system and you want to have something that can spawn automatically, this makes some sense. They do have a couple of things that, you know, can make your life easy just in case you want to work with these things. And as well, they do have a full documentation on how you can get started with it. And at the same time, it makes a lot of sense because when you want to create things like, you know, spawning stuff, you probably would not have all of that time to start rethinking how to code these things. And knowing fully well that you have a 100% blueprint active tool available, I think it just makes a lot of sense for you to take advantage of the tool that is available, leverage off it and create something interesting. Now let's go ahead and talk about the brand new permanently free content that will be available the entire year. And we're talking about no other tool than the advanced locomotion system version 4 now the advanced locomotive system is actually a bipedal locomotive system that has some sort of layering system that helps you create very advanced and high quality character animation with responsive movement it sure has a couple of features which includes some very simple flexible you know uh, base characters that you can work with it also has a couple of animations that is all tied to it and you can play with this tool as much as you want and create various um, you know animations that you want right now it has over 100 keyframed animation examples with cycles transitions and poses and so just in case you want to get something that you can you know piece two and two together so that you can walk around you can jump you can run and you don't want to use like the default character that exists of course you can use this both for your games and also for presentation six and this is all about February. Now let's talk about one more content that was made permanently free in the month of January. And that content has to do with the vehicle variety pack. Now the vehicle variety pack comes with five fully game ready vehicles that you can use. Each of these vehicle do have a texture size of 4K and they are very, very unique. They're all rigged so that you can use them in your game and do some driving around. And in case you're interested in creating car games, I think this is definitely going to make a lot of sense. If you also want to work with blueprints, it does come with about six blueprints, which is, I guess, for all of them, I guess so. And at the same time, it comes with 77 textures. And just in case you want to work with this thing on Mac and on Windows, it is totally available for you. So these are the contents that will be available for free within the month of February. And we also talked about one of the permanently free content that was made available for the month of January. And yeah, I would like to know what you guys think about this. But before we actually go, there is one more content I would really like you guys to check out. Now, we did talk about this content some time ago, and it had to do with the intelligent layering image architecture for drawing, which we talked about earlier. Now, this tool is totally free right now, and it has been set up for beta. So in case you want to do your painting, your texturing, your drawing, actually, if you want to do your paintings directly in Unreal, the tool is now available available as well that you can use it now they do have a couple of examples in case you want to check these things out and this i think would make a lot of sense as it's open for beta for everyone to play with and if you want to use this so in case you want to do your paintings directly now in unreal this is available and you can also do well to contact them or join you know their discord or their forums just in case you have issues working with this they've gone ahead to make this compatible with a brand new version of unreal engine 4.24 
as it was previously built for Unreal Engine 4.23 and it does come with about 70 brushes which gives you a huge variety of brushes that you can choose and select from and create some impressive art directly in Unreal and yeah this is definitely going to be about it you can check out the technical details link to all of this is definitely going to be in the description so you can go through and check them out and also if you want to check out the live stream of this particular tool which we're talking about which is the Elad, then of course link is also going to be in the description where you can check out the live stream and also see how you can work with this tool and so that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section do you work with unreal what engine do you think you prefer and tell me which of these tools that we've talked about today that you love to work with and you love to play with and i would like to know what you guys think about all of these things down in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it then go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i See you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace